Say hello to the new Monitor Audio Bronze 6G series, the entry level range of bookshelf and floor standing speakers, which also includes an all new Dolby Atmos option. Hi guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds here. If you're a regular, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, welcome and thanks for joining. We're a home audio retailer and we create content like this to help you guys find the right speakers for your home. We also offer a 30-day hassle-free returns policy, so if it's not right for you, you can send it back to us for a full refund. Anyway, enough about us, let's get on with the video. Today we've got a selection of speakers from the all-new Monitor Audio Bronze 6G series, released in 2020, and this is the sixth generation of the Bronze series, building on a 20-year legacy. The award-winning Bronze series is Monitor Audio's more budget-friendly option, but features many of the details and features of the premium, higher-end, silver and gold series. Now this whole range has been designed to appeal to both music and movie lovers equally and you can start with a pair of speakers and add to your setup over time to suit you and your needs. Let's start off by going over what's in the range and then we'll delve into each one in more detail. So first you have two options for bookshelf speakers, the Bronze 50s, the more compact option at £260 per pair and the Bronze 100s, its bigger brother retailing at £325 per pair. Now, both of these versions would make great stereo speakers to position on a bookshelf or floor stands if you didn't want the fully fledged floor standing models. Speaking of floor standers, you have two options for floor standers, the more compact Bronze 200s for £570 per pair, or the more powerful Bronze 500s, the largest speakers in the range, which retail at £770 per pair. Now these could be used as a more powerful option than the bookshelf speakers for front left and right speakers. Next, um, we have the Bronze C150, which is a center channel speaker to be used with other speakers in the range for a surround setup, and that's available for £175. Now, expanding on surrounds, this range also includes the Bronze FX surround speakers, spe uh, specifically designed to offer surround sound in a home cinema setup, and these come with an RRP of £300 per pair. Of course, there's also a sub in this range, the Bronze W10 subwoofer, which is available for £525. And the final and most exciting update to the Bronze 6G series is a pair of Dolby Atmos speakers, the Bronze AMS, which can be added to the Bronze 50 or 200 speakers to provide Dolby Atmos surround sound. So to give you a ballpark figure on what a full monitor audio Bronze series 5.1 home cinema would set you back, if you went with a pair of monitor audio Bronze 200s at the front with the, um, the AMS Dolby Atmos speakers on top, the C150 as the center, then the Bronze 50s as the rear surrounds, plus the W10 subwoofer, it would cost you £1,830 plus your amplifier and cabling. But of course this can be tailored to suit you so you can swap out components with a smaller size um, without a sub or without the Atmos etc to suit your budget. I'll pop a QR code up on the screen here. So if you're watching me on your TV or laptop and you've got a, uh, your phone nearby, you can just open the camera, scan the code and that'll take you directly to the Monitor Audio Bronze products on our website. And if not, as always, all the links you'll need are in the description below. I'll just add that any speakers we use in these videos also go into the clearance section on our website as they are X demos. So if you're considering um, these, then that might be worth checking out, though there will only be one of each, so you'll need to be quite quick on those. Monitor Audio had big shoes to fill with this series as the past versions of the Bronze series have been a big hit with customers and they've picked up some great five-star reviews and awards. They've interestingly opted for a totally new approach uh, with this new range bringing nothing across from the previous range which had been adapted over the past 15 years with multiple generations. So we spoke to Monitor Audio and found out that they did do a lot of research for this new design including assessing how aesthetics in the home had changed. Following this, they opted for a similar tried and tested approach found in their latest silver series, which is a step up from the bronze. There are some key changes to highlight. So the cabinets are slightly larger in the new 6G series and the overall design has been refreshed. There's these striking tweeter grills, which we've seen in the higher spec silver series. And you also have a choice of four new finish finishes, black, white, walnut and urban gray. They've also introduced a new high frequency dispersion design called Uniform Dispersion Waveguide, which alters the way the high frequency is sent out from the tweeters. Now, if you look closely at the driver, you'll also note that the drive unit's cone geometry has been optimized, which can be seen from this concave angle. And this enables the speaker to provide a more accurate sound and helps to reduce distortion at higher volumes. So with us today, we've got your two options for bookshelf speakers, the Bronze 50s and the Bronze 100s, the Bronze 200 floor standards and the new Dolby Atmos enabled speakers, the Bronze AMS. 
Now we're going to go into more depth on these products, including what we found in our testing. Let's start off with the least expensive bookshelf speakers in the range, the Bronze 50s, which are the smaller option of bookshelf or stand mount speakers and the replacement for the previous Bronze 1 speakers. Now these come as a pair and their compact dimensions 166 by 281 by 265 centimetres make these the best suited in a smaller space such as a small lounge, bedroom or home office. Design wise you have the choice of four colours. Personally I like this um, urban grey option but you can opt for the best style for your room's aesthetics. As you can probably guess at this price the finish is vinyl though the walnut and urban grey offer a wood grain look. It does come with a mesh grille which covers the front section and attaches with discrete magnets. Again this comes down to personal preference, for me I much prefer the look of these speakers without the grill and with the uh, internal um, components on display, but it's always nice to have the option to cover them up. As I said the 50s are compact speakers meaning they, meaning they don't require a lot of space and they aren't affected if you position them next to a wall or tuck them away in a corner or bookshelf. There's something called a Hive 2 rear port on these speakers which is tuned for easy positioning so you can place these speakers wherever they fit in your space without it impacting your sound performance. Internally you can see here Monitor Audio's signature Seacam Gold tweet, uh, Tweeter which uses that new uniform dispersion waveguide which helps your audio disperse more evenly throughout the room. Here you can see a 5.5 inch Seacam mid bass driver the ceramic coated aluminium magnesium cone which Monitor Audio are well known for but it's had a few tweaks. It features refreshed cone geometries as well as damped concentric mode technology and it also uses the new uniform dispersion waveguide. Now that sounds like a lot of uh, fancy words but in simple terms all of that helps to provide accurate time response and improves dispersion around your room. Meanwhile a larger diameter voice coil within the driver helps with the production of higher sound pressure levels for tight smooth bass. Monitor Audio have also introduced pure flow silver plated oxygen free copper wire inside the speaker and this helps to reduce any possibility of sound quality degradation so you get the best sound possible from these speakers. Across the front here there's a contrasting baffle and acoustically transparent hexagonal dispersion patterns on the tweeter. Now this is a nice addition particularly as you can see the gold tweeter behind the grill when it catches the light. On the back you can see this speaker is bi-wireable with these gold plated binding posts which is a nice feature if your amplifier has that capability. Now in terms of placement, these speakers can be placed on a sideboard or bookshelf, uh, on top of floor stands or wall mounted, and they have a rear fixing point and fix M speaker mount, so that's nice and easy to do. They can be used as a stereo pair for two channel listening or as part of a surround sound setup where they could be either the fronts, rears or both. You can also add the bronze AMS on top of them for Dolby Atmos sound, but we'll come on to those later in the video. I'll come on to how they sounded in our testing in a bit, but for now let's move on to the bigger brother, the Bronze 100 bookshelf speakers, which are replacing the award winning Bronze 2 speakers. Now if when you look at them side by side, you can see straight away that the 100s offer a much larger cabinet size of 231 by 376 by 325 centimetres. So they clearly will take up more space wherever you place them, but it does also mean that they can offer larger, more room filling sound. So that brings me on to the main difference between these two speakers, and that is the driver size. Now as I said earlier, the 50s have a 5.5 inch driver, whereas the 100s offer a larger 8 inch driver, which is an upgrade from the 6.5 inch drivers found in the older Bronze 2 speakers. Alongside the same renowned Seacam technology and damped concentric mode technology found in the 50s, this larger driver size enables the 100s to offer deeper bass and a wider, more dynamic audio output. Those are the only two differences between these speakers. They both come in the same four colorway options, both have the same external aesthetic and the same tweeter. The 100s are an additional £65, so you're paying for that added bass and a more powerful sound output. And if you're deciding between the two, I would weigh up the size of your room first as the hundreds are considerably larger, uh, so that's important to factor in. Now we don't have the 500 floor standards here today unfortunately, but we do have the 200, so let's take a look at those now. As you can see, they have the same footprint as the 50s, but in a floor standing design. They have the same tweeter found in both the 50s and the 100s, but offer dual 5.5 inch drivers. Again, they have the same four color options available and they're also supplied with two types of feet to suit your flooring. These boast the same features as the bookshelf speakers, so you've got the new uniform dispersion waveguide, damped concentric mode technology, a hexagonal dispersion pattern grille, etc. Now these we would recommend for use with a TV and they'll look really nice either side of a TV unit. Whether you use these alone or with a full home cinema setup with a center channel, rears and a sub, it's a fantastic option. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the sound. 
Now we tested all three pairs of speakers in a two channel setup using both the Sonos Amp and the Riga IO, both streaming audio and listening to vinyl. As always, we don't feel that a full audio test translates well across video as it's so subjective on our recording equipment and what device you're watching me on. However, I'll, I'll include a quick snippet here to give you a flavor. Now that was all non-copyright music, but we of course did a thorough test in the office with a huge range of genres and different types of audio content. I'll say that all three really impressed me. I wasn't expecting this level of sound performance from Monitor Audio's entry level range, so I was very pleasantly surprised. Perhaps the most interesting observation was that as all three speakers used the same tweeter, they all offered a very similar performance in terms of mids and high frequencies. The vocals across the board really stood out for me. I always like to use Gregory Porter and he sounded fantastic and I'd say the vocals project better than its bronze predecessors. First off, the 50s offered a clean warm sound that makes them perfect for smaller size rooms. Again, the high frequencies and vocals were silky smooth and clean. The bass was obviously the least powerful in these speakers due to the physical driver size, but to be honest, these are suitable for a lot of spaces, especially if you've got neighbors who perhaps wouldn't appreciate have a heavier bass. For bedrooms, offices, smaller living areas, etc., these would be great and fill the space comfortably. I'm gonna skip ahead to the 200s, and these again offered a room-filling sound in our demo room here. The standout feature in this pair for me was the stereo imaging and stage presence. When used with the Riga IO, the stereo separation was spot on and the imaging ensured that the sound was dispersed evenly. When we stood off center, it did do a good job of maintaining the sound performance. Um, if I'm honest, I didn't feel the 200s offered the same bass response we got from the 100s, despite having the additional driver. However, when testing the Bronze 200s with the Sonos amp, I could tweak the EQ and boost the bass, which did help. Of course, you do have the option of adding a sub to boost the bass further if you want. Um, if you're looking for Atmos in a home cinema experience, however, these would be the ones to go for as the AMS would sit perfectly on top to add those height channels making this a great setup for TV. Finally, the 100s. Now these were the standout performers for me. This 8 inch driver and larger cabinet really did help the 100s take both the bass and the overall sound performance to a very impressive level. Hi-hats were crystal clear and you could even hear subtleties in the performers breathing. I was literally standing there with a smile across my face the whole of the time and it did actually get me thinking if I should replace my Sonos 5 stereo pair. But suddenly remembered I've only got a small living room with a shared wall with my neighbour so probably not the best idea. Now it's a shame we don't have any 500s here as I would be really interested to see how they compare and test what they could do with two of these 8 inch drivers. Finally, let's have a look at the final product we have here and these are the Monitor Audio AMS Dolby Atmos enabled speakers. Now it's great to see Monitor Audio keeping up with the latest and greatest form of audio processing and these are the first ever Dolby Atmos enabled speaker modules that we've seen from Monitor Audio. They've been designed to take a typical Dolby digital system to the next level by adding dedicated upward firing drivers for 3D Dolby Atmos sound. As you can see from the triangular shape, they will angle sound up towards your ceiling where it will bounce back down towards the viewer for a 3D audio soundstage. So this means if a helicopter was to fly over a head or a car races from one side of the screen to the other, you'd experience that in home cinema quality sound and closer to the way the director intended it. Of course, these have been designed to work perfectly with the Bronze series, so they offer the same signature 25mm C-cam gold dome tweeter with UD waveguide for precise directional sound, as well as a 4-inch C-cam driver to handle the mid-bass tones. Design-wise, it has the same footprint as the Bronze 50s that I have here, um, as well as the Bronze 200 floor standing speakers, so it will sit perfectly atop the speaker for a sleek overall finish. 
Now when placed on top of the 50s, um, this setup also ensures both the forward facing drivers in the bronze speaker and the upward firing drivers in the AMS are perfectly aligned to create that 3D soundstage. Now you can choose to place the AMS on either the front or the rear speakers, or you could have them on all four to elevate the listening experience, although I wouldn't say that that's essential. Now you can opt to place the AMS on the 100 or 500 speakers, but as you can see, uh, it doesn't share the same footprint and it looks a bit odd. So because of this, I wouldn't really recommend this pairing. Either go for the 50s or use, or use the AMS separately and not atop the speaker. You can also use the AMS to other non-monitor audio speakers that have this footprint size, which is a great option if you perhaps already have bookshelf or floor, uh, floor standing speakers um, that you love, but you want to add Dolby Atmos to enhance your immersion, for example. As I mentioned, you can use these speakers separately as height surround speakers, and these can be easily wall mounted using these dedicated keyhole wall mounts. They're available in either black or white, um, which is fine, but it might have been nice to have the full choice of the new four colorways so they match completely. In fact, if you're looking at getting the AMS speakers to place on top of your speakers, then I'd suggest going for either the black or white bookshelf or floor standards for a more aesthetically pleasing match. So that covers all the products we have here today. What we like about this range is the flexibility with setup options. You have a huge range of setups available, a stereo pair, a pair of 50s with AMS Atmos speakers at the front with a C150 center channel and the FX as surrounds. You could swap out the 50s for a pair of 200 floor standards with the AMS and then have bookshelf speakers as the rears, the list goes on. It's all what works for you and your room. If you're choosing between the speakers um, that I have here as well as the 500s, there are a few points that I can add that might help make it a bit more straightforward for you. I haven't tested the 500s, but I can only imagine they would take it to the next level for both TV and music, and it would be the best choice for a larger space and bass lovers. The 200s, as I said earlier, um, would be my pick for TV audio, especially when combined with the AMS Atmos speakers. The hundreds, though, would be my personal choice for great bass and a powerful sound performance, but only if you have the space to position them on a floor stand. Finally, the 50s are the ones to go for if you've got a smaller space and are looking to position speakers on a bookshelf or similar. So that just about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching until the end. Again, I'll pop that QR code up on the screen again so you can check out the products, but as always, the links are in the description below. I'll also put the links below for our clearance section if you want to grab these speakers that I have here for testing at a cheaper price. We will be doing a comparison video comparing the Bronze 50 and the Bronze 100 bookshelf speakers with the new Bowers & Wilkins 606 and 607 bookshelf speakers from their new Anniversary Edition series, so make sure you give us a follow to catch that. Like always, if you have any more specific questions or need any help deciding which speakers are right for you, then do get in touch. A member of our team would be more than happy to help to have a chat and help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.